Winds of change begin, carrying the seeds of life and awakening. And awakening. The Si Ching reading is for April, the week of April 18th. But note on your calendar that on May 21st is a celebration called Visak Day. It's Buddha's birthday. A day when people all around the world are going to meditate on peace. So let's all join them. May 21st, Visak, Buddha's birthday. Hmm. Happy birthday, Buddha. <laughs> yeah. So here we are, blowing like grain in the wind on the winds of change. The I Ching for this week, number 30, Li, radiance as omens shine bright. Above is Li, the glowing light, the power of consciousness below. It's the same. It's a doubled hexagram. Very powerful. The wisdom, fire on the water, a bright omen for change. Spirit helpers come to dance with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking celebration. Play the music, light the candles, dance with the spirit helpers this week. Fire on the water will come so close this week that you feel it might burn you up. Have no fear. It's an omen, a good omen. The image of a clinging fire is representative of courage and resolve. It's a fire that clings to the heart and makes way for the new as it burns away old doubts, old beliefs, old patterns, things that have kept you in bondage for lifetime after lifetime. Beliefs formed in childhood, ingrained in societal patterns. This is the fuel for the fire. This is what you throw in there. This is an illuminator, bringing forward the jewels of life that have been hiding in the shadow of your ego and obscuring the soul. There have been and are others who have tried to gain control by heaping on large doses of doubt and shame. Rituals of freedom are appropriate and necessary now. Sacred rituals, they clear your vision and in that clarity, that stunning clarity, your belief in yourself. And you come to the remembering of the authentic self that takes hold and sets you free. Set the ritual table, the altar, as you do this with a new seriousness that comes into play and the ones or patterns who have been stealth and holding you back are eliminated through your release of shame and doubt. Remember that. By looking shame in the face, it loses its power. It converts its energy right into fuel for the fire, the fire of transformation. This omen is a shining spirit in all its radiances. It's light from the heavenly spirit bodies that bring the tribe and the community together and play the song of freedom and it speaks to lovers. It's a time of gathering together. As this light shines, it is doubled, revealing the intricate beauty of what was hidden. You're entering a new cycle, a cycle of change, where all is illuminated, and dig this, because it's true, all is possible. You'll feel the power of that meditation this week. Here you stand right where you're supposed to be with a fire raging in your belly, excited and a little scared. That's cool. Use these elements, these primal elements, the ones of excitement and the ones of fear to be fuel for the sacred fire that's building deep within. Soon the fear will lessen and your true purpose will be revealed. You'll be shown the satisfaction and sanctity of true love and commitment to the journey that awaits you. And therein is abundance in the sacred way of belief in yourself. 
Honoring where you've been and what you've experienced is incredibly important now as a fuel for the fire of transformation. Honor the sentient beings around you. Honor yourself, your body, your spirit, your love, your art, your sense of place. And don't forget your sense of humor. It is the combination of everything you've learned up to this point that will feed this sacred fire that comes as a ritual cycle to enliven your spirit and to calm your mind. Mm -hmm. Take a breath. Your destiny will be revealed in the brightness of a new dawn, a new way of opening and trusting, and believe it well that you are ready as together all will brighten and enliven the coming of the new golden age. The fire, Li, is the fire in the belly and the passion in your heart. Consider the element of fire and how it burns, clings, and releases. This is your lesson. See the element of fire as your heart, the fuel to burn away what was left behind. The fire's licking flames are a gift of comfort and passion and igniting the new and the creative. This is your teaching on finding truth and long-lasting clarity on this road less traveled. Change the words from the past playing in your head, the words that stopped you from loving and from being loved. Convert negative to positive, for this is the way of human process. Energy is just energy. You're in the middle of learning to receive, learning that receiving does not hurt. It inspires. Embrace. Embrace and rededicate what works and what has worked and what's working for yourself. And with a swift sword, cut what no longer serves you. You need no special gifts now to see yourself in the light of truth because your light, Li, in this hexagram, it's doubled. You can see and feel everything clearly now. Trust what you see. Affirm that you will change. You will change old, negative patterns. Put that in your meditation. You'll be released to reveal in a new freedom of thought, new feelings, new spirit, and loving light because we're entering into a new time. Emotions aren't what they were. Emotions are better. Emotions and passion are joined together in this coming of our new golden age. Transition like this will take you into a space of love and your true purpose. Once it is found and recognized, it will need tending. What will allow you to cultivate this loving light are diligence, dignity, integrity, kindness, grace, honesty, fearlessness, and compassion. And all of these are right there waiting for you. Integrity and compassion will open the door to trust and release you from shame and the control of old patterns. Embrace your greatness and your strength. Using the proper fuel will allow you to create a fire that can spread clarity to your tribe and family who also yearn for the light. Be sure that you are the one who can deliver this light in all of its fullness for yourself, for your tribe, for your family. By increasing the light, by using the proper fuels, the intensity of the flame <clears throat> will cause no damage. It becomes a healing light, the light of love, that brings creativity and health and passion. As you face old rancid patterns and behaviors, you'll be leaving the worn out and painful negative alliances of your family. Old stuff that got built up in family. Friendships that got tainted, associates. You had painful connections with. And now you're breaking all these unsaid contacts, contracts, sorry. All the unsaid contracts that have you bound to your old ways. The ways that did not leave room for you to remember your truth. You will again find the beauty of what was etched in the original canvas of your heart, the memory of who you truly are, and for what purpose you came to earth at this very momentous time. The feeling that is stirring within you is the power that allows you to remember who you truly are 
in all your magnificence as you step out from behind the veils in your glorious garb of light for all to see. Man, do it. Step out. Be outrageous. You are at last safe. Free at last. Free at last. Great God Almighty, free at last. Thank you, Mr. King. Reverend King. Enjoy the ride. Bring a friend, a child, a lover. It's a great ride. And recognize the loving beings of spirit that have been standing with you, waiting for you to step forward into the light. The light of your truth, of your beauty and your goodness. And you are good and you are beautiful. And you are the giver of truth. The unexpected is here. Bringing together what belongs together. Give it all your heart, all your body and all your soul. By being the love you desire, you will ignite the magical inner alchemy that you've been praying for. <clears throat> yeah. We've been getting ready, man. People get ready. There's a train coming, huh? And we're in it. And we're deep in it. So open your heart to this beautiful, bright, shining the lights that's here. Winds of change begin carrying seeds of life and awakening. Yeah, man. Let this week be your week of awakening. And shake it up wherever you go. If you're dancing, dance like you never danced before. If you're singing, sing like you never sang before. If you're loving, love like you've never loved before. If you're crying, cry like you've never cried before. Open all the doors of sweet love, sweet emotion. All my dear ones, this is a time of sweet spirit rising. And that sweet spirit rising is you. Many, many blessings. Much love. In la kesh alakin. I am the other you. And I like it that way. Namaste. Namaste.